Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm going to be doing another sort of technical vlog on motorhomes, on my motorhome. Um, today we're going to be installing a bike rack on the back of our Adria Twin. Um, I've got the full bike rack. This is the full Elite Van XT. It's for the Fiat Ducato, um, the Citroen and the Peugeot Boxer from 2007. And it's the black one. So I'll show you that in its box and then hopefully install it on the van, um, how to install it, um, so it might be of use to some people out there that want to fit the same. Right, so here it is all in its box, it's been delivered a couple of days ago. The instruction man manual isn't too bad to follow, most of it's picture orientated. The only thing extra you're going to need is some um, Sikaflex 252, which it is recommended inside uh, in the instructions. So, and you need some sort of dispensing gun, like a mastic gun, to be able to use that and this is used just to put the bars on the van and to, st um, to stick it on basically even though it has it has still got some sort of retaining mechanical mechanism as well so the first thing i'm going to do is to go out and give the van door a clean so that the adhesive can stick to it fairly good all right so the first thing you do is clean up this area here which i've given it a clean if you're really dirty you probably have to get something like tea cut on it depending on how old your van is and the next thing will be to install the top bar, which needs to have the sicker flex put on the back, which I'm gonna do in a minute, and then clamp that on to the top and then leave that for 12 hours. Right, so we're gonna put the sicker flex down this rubber groove area. Um, it says in the instructions just to put it down there, don't overdo it. Right, is that, is that done? Um, now they're going to put it in place, just put it onto the door, hold it in place and then do the allen bolts up on the side of the clamp on, so I'll show you that done in a minute. Right, so that's the top bar in place. You got, you're doing the allen bolts up here and you can see how it wraps around the side of the door here. Um, it sticks on quite tight with that sicker flex when you first put it on. Now, I've got mine slightly off centre from the hinge because I don't want it catching here. And when the door's open, you can get in there with your Allen, uh, Allen ratchet and tighten it up. And you only want to do it so it just pinches the door. It does stay in the manual that not to over tighten this because you don't want to crease this or crease the, the, your door. Um, and then that, I mean, that's pretty tight already, but that needs to set now for 12 hours. I've got a couple of days now, I'm not going to be touching this. I'll let that set before I fit the rest of the, of the bike rack. All right, guys, so I've just made up the other part of the frame for the bike rack. Um, this part is self-explanatory on the instructions. It's just like many of the other bike racks, um, easy connect, bolt through, tighten it up, and it's adjustable up and down when the bike rack's all on. Um, this is the top part of the bike rack. And then you've got this bar here, which is similar to the other bar we put on the back, which we're gonna glue onto the van. This is the bottom bar. So this is bolted through, and these are coach bolt so this does go on a certain way round so if you're not tightening this if you tighten this up and it's spinning you've probably got this on the way around so just flip it over because there is a square nut hole on one side which is this side under here it's got a square nut hole through there whereas this one's round so if you get it wrong just spin it over so make this up first and now i'm going to go and dry fit this to the van to make sure everything's okay because we do end up sticking this bar onto the van so I want to make sure everything fits before I end up putting that sicker flex on and gluing it on in place. Right, so that's a dry fix. You can see you put the T-nuts onto this groove up here and then this just hangs onto the T-nuts on both sides. And then the bottom bar is exactly the same as the top bar. I haven't adjusted it out yet, the metal clamps, so it clamps around the door. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now, adjust them out. I've got to take it off, put the sicker flex on. Uh, and then this goes in place on there and I've already cleaned this part of the metal bar. So it's just about getting that in there clamping it up and then leaving it again for a couple of days to set. A little tip on the Sikaflex, if anyone's never used silicon and silicon guns before, 
um, if you, when you're not using it and you finish with it, like the other day I was, it, it even put a bit of clean film, or sellotape or tape, anything around this top to keep the air out, and that stopped this tube from going absolutely solid. And then you'll have to put, buy another tube, or it could go into the actual main part of the Sigaflex, and it'll all go off. And it's a waste of money. Then it's the, and this this is not cheap stuff. This is quite expensive. I think about ten to eleven pounds a tube. So it's worth keeping keeping this sealed for other jobs because you can use this around quite a few different places. All right. So I tried to do the Sigaflex in place, but that is almost impossible to get the gun in there in the end. Um, so this is the bit where we're going to do exactly the same as the top bar. It's to run two beads of Sigaflex down here. And then carefully off it up so I don't touch the van because this stuff's pretty sticky and it's hard to get off um, without any solvent chemicals to get it off. Right, so that's the main bar in place. Two top nuts, T nuts have been tightened up and the bottom one's been done. A little tip when you're putting this on, be careful you slowly bring it in, you've got it in the right position because that Sikaflex sticks really quick and it's really hard to move it once it's on. So make sure you bring it in, line it up and drop it in, drop it in place. And then you just tighten up the two Allen bolts either side that make up these clamps. And don't over tighten these, these are just pulling on the door a little bit. But pretty much that's just been literally screwed on and that and it's almost impossible to move that sticker flex already. So I'm gonna get on with leaving this for 12 hours or so and then it's what it says in the manuals is set and then put the rest of the bars on all right guys so next day getting this part on the top part um, if you're working on your own it can be quite fiddly because you've got to be able to get this bolted in get these plastic caps around it hold it all in place while you nut and bolting this together so on your own that's quite awkward really so if you use these clamps which are provided that which are used when it's all set up to hold this in place anyway put them in and put the bolts in either side and that'll hold this in place then where you can sort that one side at a time right before you bolt this one up there's these little black top hat things that need to go on first you could do this before you offer it up but i forgot um but these you just push these behind and then they will kick in place and you need to do that on both sides so they're in place and I can now offer it up to the hole and get the cover on it as well. Right, so that's now bolted in place. Another thing you don't, don't want to over tighten these, they just need to be able to pinch it in tight enough. You see the bolts pull through and these are locking nylon nuts so they shouldn't undo at all. So that's most of that part of the rack fitted. It's now just a matter of sorting out the top parts that hold the bikes on and when you're not using it it can lock in away into position all right one of the next jobs you've got to do is putting this rubber seal on um which is not easy to do with all this in place which should have been thought of before on the instruction before putting all this in place so what i'm going to do is unbolt these so that see if i can lift this out a bit and then cut this rubber and put it in place which will make it life a lot easier all right so that's the rubber seal in place and like i say it's much easier if you unbolt this so you can pull it away to get your fingers in there depending on how fat your fingers are like mine i can never get them in there to do that with these bolted in place so that's all done bolt was back in place and then it's just a matter of doing the top one as well all right so the next thing to do is putting these parts on um and it's quite easy it's a bit fiddly to do one hand with the video in, but this collar here you just pull this down towards you and then this Part flips up. I so say can't do that with one hand. The video. So that part flips up. Opening that. That can then clamp onto the top bar. I'll show you in a minute. And then you just pull that down and clamp it back in again. Another thing to consider when you're putting this part on is there is two positions. You've got a hole down here, and there is a hole further up, which will mean difference in height of your bikes when you got them on the on the van and for when you're putting them on and off the van. So this is the lower setting that I've got it on at the moment. There is another setting there, um, and this is for the top bar to come down to. So it's adjustable depending on your bikes, and I want this as low as possible because being a short ass, it's awkward to get the bikes on. So this is pretty much set up for now. The top clamps are on now, 
Um, all we've got to do now is get the bikes on and try the bikes out and get it all set up. Right, there you go, that's set up now for my first bike. I've still got to get the second up and probably play a bit more about an adjusting. It's worth spending a bit of time setting up your bike, adjusting it all in place if you haven't done these before because it makes life much easier when you're out of the back if they're sitting nicely on the frame. These are adjustable by pulling them in and up and down for your wheels. And the top bar, you can move it up or down depending on your bikes and size of your bikes. Um, and this makes it the bike sit more straighter to the door. At the moment, it's pretty much straight. I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. If you go too far over, your pedals will start hitting your window, so you've got to be careful of that. So at the moment, they're sitting nice. Until I get the second bike on, I won't know for sure, which is what I'm going to be doing in a couple of days' time, because we haven't got it yet. My wife's bike's still on order. Some other things to be wary of when, when opening the door is to make sure you're not catching on the out frame. Now I can't do that at the moment at my house because the, the van needs to go forward. So that's something I'll be looking at when I get to a campsite somewhere. Also need to make sure that your retaining straps are in place and properly secured because if this door flies around you're going to bash the side of the van damage the door bike rack everything so they're really important that they're done up when you've got the bikes on the back and don't be and don't overload these things either um, recommendations on these is a maximum of 35 kilograms so e-bikes or something like that if you put these on it you're probably going to damage your door by pulling on your hinges and stuff so be really careful about that personally i'm going to just put the bikes on here and when i've got on site i'll be taking them off again the only chance is i'm going to open this door really is if um, i'm going through customs and they want to see through the back of the door and when i'm at a pool other than that i'm probably never going to open this door when the bikes are on the back because it just puts extra stress on your door and it's don't see the need for it really where you can get to the back of the van from the inside so anyway that's probably it for this vlog hope you that was of interest to people that have never fitted these before um, I'm well impressed with it really the fact that it glues on sticks clamps onto the door and you haven't got to put bolts through your door and then muck around with it inside of your um, interior to seal up any holes and put caps over it is is very very good um, I've had car fitted caravan ones before and motorhome ones on the big coach built motorhomes which bolt through and it's a horrible thing to fit when you've got to bolt through your doors and I've had them also um, because people put heavy too much weight on them pulled through on the interior and done a lot of damage so you do need to be wary of these um, like I say with the damage side of things um, these by the way adjust sideways so if you are catching on the doors at all you can move all this around just be careful on how you set it up anyway so I hope that that's good enough um, first time fitting on these myself actually as well so it, it went really well it's only taken me it only take you a day to fit it if you didn't have to wait for the glue to set but um, over, over a couple of days you can easily fit these so that'd be it for this vlog Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'm going to get on with doing the electrics on the van there because I still want to get my lithium battery in and I've got all the B2B to fit and roof bars and solar panels over the next few months.